Hi and welcome to this tutorial on thermodynamics. I'm just going to have a look at uh, the terms isothermal, adiabatic and diathermic systems. So I'm just going to quickly get up the uh, diagram we have on systems and we're not going to deal with the open system for these examples. We're going to look at the closed systems and the isolated systems. So I'll just move these down a little bit. Basically the idea of the tutorial is to explain the terms. So adiabatic basically means that heat does not enter or leave a system. So it's a bit like the isolated system and the best way of thinking about that is a flask, a thermos flask. Okay? But obviously in the thermos flask you don't have a reaction taking place but heat can't get in or out so it's an isolated system. So that's adiabatic. Heat does not get in or out. Energy is not transferred in and out of that system. A diathermic system, on the other hand, is a bit more like a closed system, so it's just a, a reaction flask. And in this example, heat can get in and heat can get out. So if we look at an example for an isothermal process, if we um, look at isothermal processes, we have, let stick, uh, let's just get a box up. So this is our reaction vessel and we'll stick a thermometer in there. Okay. If it's isothermal, that means the temperature inside the reaction here, let's change the colour a little bit, so the temperature inside here is going to remain constant. So if it's an exothermic uh, reaction, then heat will be lost to the environment and the surroundings in order to keep the temperature constant. There's no change in temperature, so um, delta T equals zero inside the reaction vessel or our system of interest, and heat will be gained outside the system. If it's uh, an endothermic process, then heat will come in from the environment, so that's exothermic. Uh, there's another tutorial on what these terms mean, endothermic and exothermic. So if it's an endothermic process, then um, heat comes in from the environment in order to keep the reaction isothermal. So isothermal just means constant temperature within our system that we're interested in. And for chemistry, that's usually a reaction. So very quick recap, adiabatic system, heat can't get in or out. And for a diathermic system, heat can get in and out. So this is like a diathermic system. Isothermal just means the contents within that system are kept at a constant temperature. So the change in temperature equals zero. So that's it for now. Bye for now.